Well, good morning and welcome back to the Journey to Jerusalem on Wednesday of the second week of Lent. This week is about mercy and so far this week we have been resting in the 15th chapter of the Gospel of Luke where Jesus with great mercy, with great compassion, speaks of the shepherd who would leave the 99 to go after the one. And as he's speaking, you you can imagine this scene. Jesus sits in the middle of the crowd. Immediately around him are his apostles. Surrounding the apostles are the scribes and Pharisees. Surrounding them are the 72 disciples. Surrounding them are those who were simply following Jesus. And then amassing the furthest circles would be those tax collectors and sinners who, in the Gospel of Luke, it says, were drawing near to listen to him. So here's the scene today with those circles, all those people around Jesus. With one eye like almost locked on the complacency of the scribes and Pharisees. And yet the other eye like really like inviting the tax collectors and sinners with his message of mercy. Jesus begins to to tell the parable of the prodigal son. Now we know the story well, don't we? First part of the story is about the wayward, wandering younger son who leaves the security of his home and, as Luke 15, 13 says, sets off for a distant country. As Jesus speaks of the wandering younger son, you can imagine that his eyes are really cast on the sinners, on the outer circle. And as Jesus is looking at them, as he's talking about the younger son, you can imagine that the sinners feel as if Jesus is is really speaking about them. It's almost like he's reading their hearts. And that and those who are on the outer circle are just, they're listening. And they're asking them, themselves, why did that younger son leave? And then they're really asking themselves, why do I leave? The younger son, who in a sense is all of us, leaves his father because he is restless. Restless. A lot of times when things get quiet in our lives, when we can't hear the voice of God, we hear lots of other things in our hearts. Some of us are afraid of loneliness. Some of us are afraid of failure. Some of us are afraid that we're not good enough. Could be fear around abandonment. Could be fear around identity. Could be the seduction of curiosity that I'll be happy somewhere else or doing something else. Whatever the fear is, whatever the seduction is, when things get quiet, which is why I think a lot of us run from quiet, we'll often listen to the voice of fear and we get restless. If we have the courage to look at sin in our lives, perhaps we'll notice that what leads us into sin is when we get restless. Take courage. I want you to trust the process. 
trust the process, and spend some time today with Jesus and ask Him, ask yourself, are you restless? When are you restless? And how do you respond when you're restless? For your prayer today, of course, I would encourage you to pray with Luke 15, 11 to 19. You're there the day Jesus speaks about the prodigal son. Are you sitting with the 12? Are you sitting with the 72? Are you sitting with the scribes and Pharisees? Or do you find yourself standing far away with the tax collectors and sinners? What stirs in your heart today as Jesus speaks of a younger son? as he describes a restless man. Why did that younger son leave? Why do you, quote-unquote, leave the father's security? Jesus, we ask for the grace today to grow in self-awareness Teach us about our restlessness so that we might one day rest in you. God bless you.